The, the digital age has changed so much uh, the lives of people now. Um, for me, um, it's probably a way of life too for me. Um, a lot of the stuff that I read, uh, I can access in Kindle. Um, basically every day, I have my phone and my iPad on hand. I'm ready to communicate with, uh, with family, with friends and work. And I also have, I also go reading when, um, when I'm not doing anything. So, so much is accessible with, uh, with, with digital technology these days that um, it, it's so hard not to, not to use the, them for, for your life. No? Uh, I hope personally, um, when, when I do transactions all online, uh, when I trade the market, um, I can do it um, with my iPad and the transactions are so fast that uh, even my banking, the way I manage my funds, my, my finances, they're, they're all uh, digitally based. And it's more convenient, it's, more, it's, it's easier for me. I feel I have more control over them. And I feel that I save a lot of time too, uh, with, especially with Kindle, with, with my iPad, that I can read so much and I, I can save so much time. I can use a lot of time uh, efficiently. You know? um, here in my work in basketball, uh, the data is also so important. I mean, videos when I study my team and my opponents, uh, it's so accessible. It's, it's in YouTube, and there's really no reason not to learn and not not to improve your your game and find an edge. Um, also, for for sharing purposes, for communicating with my teammates, my family, um, it's really a must. No? Um, uh, Digital, digital, the digital way of life has made that easier. You know? um, so, information is fast, uh, communication is fast, and transactions and um, the, all the necessities of life basically have been made easier by the digital age. It's very important for me, especially now that a lot of my information, a lot of um, the things that necessarily for my life in my life are are stored in in a digital database. Um, I, I transact um, electronically. I abstract um, um, using technology. So um, I need some peace of mind. I need some security when I do things digitally. You know? uh, for my children as well, um, being a a public figure, um, you, you want you want your the most important things in your life, your loved ones, to have that security. And of course, you want privacy as well, but um, you want to transact, you want to use digital things in a very safe way. So security is so important. Um, uh, insurance that um, there won't be any problems with, um, um, with these things. No? So it, there's, there's a lot of risk involved with technology. No? And, when, when there's risk, um, you, you want to make sure that there's also some insurance, some security to protect you and your loved ones. With, with technology, with the internet, basically everything is an open book. So it's really hard to conceal things. It's really hard to keep things secret. No? Um, it all comes down to just using the technology, using the edge in, in the way that might improve over others. Um, I think there, there are really no secrets in basketball anymore. Um, it's just the way the players use it, the coaches use it to their advantage, and who works harder and who uses it um, more wisely than others. Well, the trend is definitely going up in terms of the digital age. I mean, I think there's no slowing down, and it just keeps improving. Everything gets faster. And uh, there are just so many upgrades left and right that, um, you know, it feels like uh, the, human, the human aspect to it is already diminishing. And sometimes we're relying a lot of te uh, technology, robots, etc. Um, cars that have no drivers, all these things. Uh, but I think there's no replacement for the human element. I mean, we humans, we, we're the masters of technology. I mean, there's no replacing us. Uh, I think we humans, we were built to have 
um, relationships and uh, in contact with each other. You no, know? so there's no replacing that. I mean, um, with digital, with with technology, sometimes you can do things away from each other, and um, it's fast, it's efficient, but sometimes it can be too artificial. And we humans are not built for for the artificial. We're built for personal relationships with each other. So. I think there should be a balance. Technology helps a lot, but in the end, we, we still need each, each other. We still need physical contact, uh, the real uh, people doing stuff. You know? So with, in terms of basketball, I think it's still, it's still us who, who makes the sport alive. You know? um, the game is changing, it's evolving, and everyone is looking for an edge to, to win. Um, I guess if, if the players um, are not replaced. I mean, there can be many improvements in different kinds, in technology, um, implants, whatever. Um, I think th there will be a possibility for that. But um, I think it, it's, it's all going to be for, for the good of the game and the sport. You know? But again, you cannot, still, you cannot replace um, the, real, the real player um, playing in the court. You know?